really excited that everyone I've been talking to this year is all about a running experience, whether they're doing the marathon or the half or the relay. You know, they're coming here because you're in Kauai, it's a beautiful scenery, you just go out and enjoy this race. Aloha! The course is spectacular. Uh, just the camaraderie and the aloha spirit on the course. All the local town people come out when you run by their houses. So uh, the course is great, the views, the vistas are amazing, and just the, you know, the, the great warmth you get out on the course is, is to me just terrific. And it still has that small marathon feel. It's not like doing Chicago or New York where there's you know, millions of people lining the roadside. It's just a couple you know, bras out there. I love that. Welcome to the beautiful and lush Hawaiian island of Kauai for the 2011 Kauai Marathon. Participants from all over the world travel to this gorgeous destination marathon to partake in one of the most highly regarded marathons in the entire world. Known for its breathtaking views, outstanding weather and great people, the Kauai Marathon is a favorite amongst marathoners across the globe. 2011 marks the third running of this event and more and more runners keep finding themselves taking the trip to Kauai. Boasting its largest attendance since the marathon's inception, the word is definitely getting out about this fantastic week of running and fun. With a week of full pre-race activities, marathoners and their families get a great opportunity to enjoy the Garden Island while at the same time preparing for that grueling 26.2 mile course. The three H's, the hills, the heat, and the humidity have become well known around the Kauai Marathon community and stand out in every runner's mind throughout their journey on the course. And like last year, the $15,000 Speed Challenge purse is up for grabs for any runner that finishes under a blistering pace of 2 hours and 30 minutes. With last year's champion falling just short, this year's field will do whatever it takes to make that purse their own. We had the chance to sit down and chat with the official co-host of the Kauai Marathon, Bart Yasso from Runner's World Magazine, and hear what he had to say about this challenging course and some of the competitors as well. Your first I, you know, I'll break it down, like in a half marathon, you're running up to the tunnel of trees in both the marathon and the half, slightly uphill for about six miles. Then you get a little bit of downhill and some rolling terrain and through some neighborhoods, which is kind of cool. Then you get that strategic point where the marathoners turn right and the half marathoners, we go off to the left or go straight, there's, but there's a strategic intersection there because the marathon gets tough from there. You hit a lot more hills and it's, it's brutal. But a half marathon, not as tough. Still some rolling hills and then a lot of downhill towards the end of the race. So the half marathon course is not that tough. As long as you're aware of that opening six miles slightly uphill, adjust for that early, you can run a pretty good race here. Red Hat's amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want to be Red Hat? He's in his late 70s, running his 400 marathon. You know, he's just got that great attitude. He's not out there trying to set any speed records. He's just out there going from point A to point B and living the dream woman doing her 400th marathon, she's been consistent running like two marathons a month and just to build up to 400 marathons. This blows me away that uh, one, they have the determination to do it, the stamina to do it, and they absolutely never lost that lust for doing this. Another rewarding and attractive perk here in Kauai is the Kauai Marathon $15,000 challenge. Any runner that finishes the full marathon under two hours and 30 minutes for the men in two hours and 45 minutes for the women, get a piece of the $15,000 purse. In the challenge's first year in 2010, no runner got to claim any part of that purse. So look out for a lot of hungry runners this year. Some of this year's top contenders in the full marathon are defending champion Michael Wardian out of Arlington, Virginia. After a great race last year, Michael still missed the speed challenge purse by 52 seconds, making him even more of a threat to our other runners this year. With a tough showing last year, one of our Kenyan runners, Richard Candy, is back with newcomer David Tuway, and they are more prepared than ever to handle the three H's. Another competitor to look out for is Tyler McCandless from Boulder, Colorado. Tyler comes in with a very strong reputation and puts on some welcome pressure to the other runners. Also, as always, be on the lookout for 2009 defending champion JT Service. When JT isn't busy helping with race coordination with the Kauai Marathon, he is busy tearing up marathons all across the country. When we get back, we'll take a look at some of the other fun activities that accompany this great destination marathon weekend. An outstanding VIP dinner party and a fueling pre-race Carbolo Luau 
are just some of the events that truly make this marathon a full week of fun. The 2011 Kauai Marathon has been brought to you by the County of Kauai, the Kauai Visitors Bureau, the Hawaii Tourism Authority, and Fresh Point. Welcome back to the 2011 Kauai Marathon. A big hit last year was the celebrity panel which brings together some of the biggest names in the running world and gives them the opportunity to connect with the runners here at the Kauai Marathon. Items discussed will be great running tips, advice and some inside course information for our competitors. This year's hot topic was the vast number of female marathoners across the world and especially entered here at the Kauai Marathon. So let's talk about you know who loves what's going on with these women showing up at more races and I I think it's Nike because ladies are buying more stuff than guys ever have. The second person that loves it is race directors like Jeff and Bob who get way more people now competing in the races. And the third person that likes it is me because it's awesome. <laughs> Boom. It's true. You know, you see a lot of men, especially in these you know, 100 milers, charge out like they're animals. And you know, at mile 75, they're in a, in a, on a stretcher and the woman just comes strutting right by. So. I don't know what it is, but I, I like it. So keep it up, girls. Yeah. Everybody's competitive to a degree, but I think the women are not necessarily out there as much for competitive as they are for the social, as Bart mentioned. And I think the guys, they don't like getting beaten by the women, let's face it, you know. So, um, and that has something to do with it. The Fun Run is another great activity here at the Kauai Marathon. It is open to everyone. It's a great way for runners and their families and friends to get in on the action as well. In addition to the other great race activities is a full race and fitness expo held at the Sheridan Kauai. Attendees get the opportunity to check out some of the latest industry equipment, purchase official race gear, and get a chance to meet and talk with Bart Yasso and Dean Carnassus, the official hosts of the Kauai Marathon. The VIP dinner party has become a welcome tradition here at the Kauai Marathon. It serves as a great way to thank our sponsors and corporate partners for their roles in the race. As always, the VIP dinner party was held at the gorgeous Grand Hyatt Kauai. This marathon has had a huge impact on the island of Kauai. Ardu Mezu, film commissioner for the island, talked with us about the importance of this race to the local community. As working for the Economic Development Office, um, I believe that this event is, is a signature event. It will be. We're working to be that way. I think soon more and more people will come here, not just to run, because we're showcasing this island. Not only a healthy place to, to have this activity of running and walking, but I think sharing this beautiful island with, with the world. The night before race day is the best time to fuel up for the big day. What better way to prepare than with your family, friends, and fellow runners at the Carvel Load Luau Party held at the Sheridan Kauai. Great energizing food, ocean views, great people, and a traditional Hawaiian luau help calm the nerves before the big race. After a great night's rest in paradise, it was time to wake up and get ready for the best run of the year. With great fuel in the runners' bellies and a little pre-race stretching with Stacy's boot camp, these runners are as ready as ever to get on the course and tackle the three H's. Hey, we've got uh, hopefully about 1,725 people out here for the marathon and half marathon. Ready to go, 10 minutes to 12 minutes to 6, and we'll be taking off on time with uh, a great group. Might be a little warm today, no clouds in sight right now, so uh, hopefully we'll have a good, safe, fun day today. We got, we got 20 great aid stations out there on the course, so everybody should be fine. After a fantastic week of fun, it's time to get down to business. The sound of the traditional cock shell signifies the beginning of the race here at Poipu Beach. And they're off. The 
ultra marathon man and one of the most famous athletes in the marathon community, Dean Carnassus is back again as the official co-host of the 2011 Kauai Marathon. Well, I think, you know, there's the competitive element, so the, the guys that are going after the purse, um, it's, a, it's a pretty difficult race. And we saw last year, we, there were some very elite runners that uh, didn't finish, they DNF'd. And so, not only is there heat and humidity, but there's a lot of climbing involved. But I never lose sight of kind of the aloha element, which I call them, and that's kind of the, the mid-pack runners and uh, the people that are doing their first marathon and just the spirit in that group. Last year's defending champ is hungrier than ever this year after just missing that speed challenge purse. Michael Wardian gives us his outlook on the race, the island of Kauai, and some of the other competitors in this year's field. Well, I think this race is a little different in that, um, you know, there, there's really, you're competing against the course and the time, uh, just because that's the way that it's structured uh, with the time incentive. I think there's an incentive to, to win the race, but I think there's also an incentive to run under the two hours and 30 minutes. And, and so, you know, my goal is to, to always, when I tow the line, to try and be the first guy back. So, you know, that's gonna be my motivation, but, um, you know, I'm also gonna be cognizant of the uh, time consideration. Don't go anywhere. The Kauai Marathon will be right back.